Once you've officially launched your eBay store and you've started to make sales every single day, that's not the final point. There's certain things that you need to make sure that you're doing daily to make sure that you're positioning your eBay store in the best way possible. And that's exactly what I'm gonna go through in today's video. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online. But in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is going through around four or five different things that you need to make sure that you're doing as an eBay seller with your eBay account to make sure that you're doing things in the most efficient way possible. These are the things that I wish I knew when I first started because I would have been able to do things in a better way and ultimately make more money over the course of me running my eBay business. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so that you don't miss anything. As always, I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get right into it. If you find any value in the video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. So one of the first things that I do every single day as an eBay seller is check my feedback. I would say that this is somewhat of a bad habit because every single time I got my phone in my hand, I would say at least every 30 minutes or an hour, I'm always refreshing the eBay app to see if anyone's left me any negative feedback. Because by now, if you are an eBay seller, you probably know that feedback is one of the most important elements of running an eBay business. You need to make sure that you're building up positive feedback and removing as many negative feedbacks as possible. So what you need to make sure that you're doing as an eBay seller is make sure that you're checking your feedback profile every single day because if you see that you get any negative feedback from a customer that shouldn't have necessarily left that feedback or maybe they left it incorrectly, you're gonna be able to remove it. And I believe that eBay only gives you a certain amount of time to remove negative feedback that's not applicable for your store. I believe it's only around 30 days or 14 days. I'm not sure on the exact time frame of when you can remove negative feedback, but you need to make sure that you're checking your feedback profile every single day. So let's say for example, a customer has left you negative feedback because they wasn't happy with an item. If you're checking your profile every single day, you're gonna be able to see the minute or the hour that they left the negative feedback. And from there, you're gonna be able to reach out to the customer because you know that they've probably still got their phone in their hand. They're probably still logged into their eBay account. You're gonna be able to message them straight away and maybe offer them some sort of refund or maybe offer them some sort of complimentary item. And then from there, they may offer to revise the negative feedback. But the longer that you leave it, let's say one day, maybe two days, maybe 10 days without messaging the customer, there's a less likelihood that they're going to respond back to you. So this is why I always advise every single person that's selling on eBay to make sure that you're checking your feedback profile every single day for any negative feedback. This is something that I personally do maybe five to seven times every single day. As I said, it's kind of a bad habit, but it's something that I personally do because I like to make sure that I'm dealing with any negative feedbacks and getting them removed ASAP. Now the reason why you want to remove negative feedbacks as soon as possible and not leave it for too long is because you may also prevent sales from coming through. Let's say for example right now you've been able to maintain 100% positive feedback. If you get a negative feedback and your score drops down to 99.8%, customers may come across your store and may not want to buy from you due to the negative feedback that you have. This is one of the main reasons why I like to remove negative feedback ASAP because I know that there's some customers that are gonna come across my eBay store, read the negative feedback, and maybe go and buy from a different seller. So if I'm able to contact the customer that left the negative feedback or reach out to eBay and get it removed ASAP, I know that I'm not necessarily doing anything to affect my sales. So this is definitely something that you need to think about if you're currently building a business on eBay right now. Moving on to the second thing that you need to make sure that you're doing every single day is checking your messages. Now it's very important to check your messages on eBay for so many reasons. The first one is that you may have received a message from a customer that wants to buy an item and they just wanna quickly ask a quick question before they place their order. And if you're not necessarily checking your messages and you're not responding to the customers that wanna buy from you, you're ultimately taking money away from your business. So that's one of the first reasons why I like to check my messages every single day because I know that I'm gonna be able to secure a couple sales. One of the next reasons why I like to check my messages is because a customer may have bought an item from me but they may have order the wrong size or maybe order the wrong color. And if I don't check my messages and I ship out the item, that means that I'm gonna now have to pay for the return postage because the customer did send the message before I actually shipped out the order. So it's very important that before you ship out any orders, every single day you go through all of your messages because some customers are gonna cancel the order, some customers are gonna make some changes to their order. And you need to make sure that you make any amendments or any changes or any cancellations before you ship out the order because if you don't do that, you're gonna end up posting the order to the customer, which means you're gonna to have to pay a shipping fee. The customer is now going to receive the item. They're gonna open up a case, claiming that they sent you a message before you actually posted it. eBay is gonna see that. So eBay is going to now make you pay 
for the customer to send it back to you. So you're paying two shipping costs just because you didn't check your messages. This is a common mistake that a lot of new eBay sellers make. They don't go through their messages and it ends up just wasting a lot of time, a lot of money as well. And the customer may end up leaving you negative feedback as well because the customer is gonna now have to print out the shipping label. They're gonna have to make their way to the post office and it may not even be close to their house. It's gonna end up costing them money, it's gonna end up costing them time. So this is just a big inconvenience and a big waste of time for everybody. So that's why I always advise all of my students to make sure that they go through their messages every single day, at least three or four times every single day. What I personally did every single day when I first started my eBay store is I made sure to download the eBay app on my phone and I was personally responsible for responding back to customers within 10 to 15 minutes. As I've scaled up my eBay stores and my e-commerce stores in general, I've since employed other people to help me respond to messages. So I don't necessarily have to deal with it anymore. This is something that you're definitely gonna need to be hands-on with when you first start your eBay business. And as you start to bring in more money in your business, you can now hire someone to help you respond to messages every single day. So moving on to the third thing that you need to make sure that you're doing every single day with your eBay business is checking the stock levels for the products that you're selling. Now, the reason why this is very important is because you don't wanna end up listing a product on your eBay store thinking that you've got around 20 pieces left, 30 pieces left, when realistically, you've only got around two pieces left. And then a customer now comes along and then orders five quantities of the item that you're selling. And then you're gonna now have to go back to them and let them know that you're gonna have to refund them a certain amount because you don't have the total amount that they need in stock. So there's three main reasons why you don't wanna put yourself in this position. The first one is that eBay doesn't necessarily like it when you run out of stock. It's always good to make sure that you're checking your stock levels every single day so that you can order stock from your supplier so that you don't ever have to put your inventory at zero when it comes to the back end of your eBay store because eBay wants to make sure that you're a seller that's going to continuously be able to supply that product without ever having to run out of stock because when you do run out of stock for a particular product, eBay is now gonna push you further down in the search results and the work that you've put in over the months or over the weeks to rise higher in the search results, eBay is gonna end up de-ranking you. So it's very important to make sure that you don't run out of stock. The second reason why you don't wanna put yourself in this position is that if you end up having to cancel an order and refund the customer because you don't have any stock after the customer's already placed the order, this is going to affect your eBay account because you're gonna end up with a defect. And if you build up a certain amount of defects in comparison to the total amount of sales that you're making every single month, you're gonna end up getting your eBay account pushed down from top rated seller back down to above standard or back down to below standard. So you don't wanna end up building up a lot of these different defects just because you're not keeping a good record of how much quantities you have left of a particular product. And moving on to the third reason is that you're gonna ultimately make the customer unhappy and then it may result in negative feedback, just like how I said earlier. If a customer ends up buying a certain amount of items from you, or even if they just buy one, and then you have to now cancel it and send them a message telling them sorry, it's gonna be an inconvenience for them because when you refund the money, it's gonna take a certain amount of days for the customer to receive it back in their bank account, which means that they may not have the available funds to now buy it from someone else. And if the customer ends up leaving you negative feedback for this, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you to get the feedback removed from eBay because it was your fault in the first place for not clearly identifying to any potential customer how many units you have left of the products that you're selling. So this is a very important thing that you need to be doing with your eBay account every single day, which is checking the inventory levels to make sure that they match up with what you've got on your eBay store. So the fourth thing that you need to make sure that you're doing every single day is that once you've posted an item, you need to make sure that you're marking it as dispatched in the back end of your eBay account. Now, the reason why you wanna do this is for multiple different reasons. One of the first reasons is that when you mark it as dispatched, the customer is now gonna get a notification and an email from eBay letting them know that the order's on its way. However, if you don't mark it as dispatched and you've posted the item out to them, they're not gonna know that the item's on its way. So they're not gonna be able to plan accordingly, whether they need to stay at home, whether they need to advise a neighbor that package is coming if they're not going to be at home or they might be planning a holiday and they may not be in their house there's so many different reasons why you need to make sure that you're letting the customer know that their order's on its way second reason why it's important to mark orders as dispatched is because when it comes to ebay knowing whether or not you shipped out an order this is the only way that they're going to know and if you've actually posted an item out but you've not marked it as dispatched in your eBay account, eBay is gonna think that you're collecting money from people but you're not shipping out orders. So this may put a late delivery defect on your account if you end up marking it as dispatched 
later on. So you need to make sure that you get into the habit of marking orders as dispatched every single day. There's so many reasons why you need to do this. And it's also important that if you're sending out your orders using a track service, you need to make sure that you're putting the tracking number on the actual order as well so that when you mark it as dispatched the customer is going to be able to track the order on whatever postal service you use and ebay is also going to be able to know whether or not the order has been received by the customer because when you use a track service ebay is going to know once the order has been delivered so if the customer tries to say that they didn't receive the item as long as you've kept the tracking number and you've put it on the order ebay is not necessarily going to give the money back to the customer because one mistake that a lot of new ebay sellers make is that they will ship out an order using a track service but they wouldn't necessarily keep a note of the tracking number or they might even throw away the receipt and because the buyer may have noticed that you didn't put the tracking number when you marked it as dispatched on ebay they may try and claim that they haven't received it but if you've already thrown away the receipt and you haven't got the tracking number ebay is going to automatically give the money back to the customer and take it out of your account so one thing that i try to do every single day with all of my ebay accounts is that whenever i'm shipping out all of my orders i put the tracking number as soon as i mark it as dispatch so that the customer knows when they're going to receive it ebay knows the moment that i've shipped out the order based on the information of the tracking number and everyone's happy and moving on to one of the final things that you need to make sure that you're doing as an ebay seller is to make sure that you're keeping up with all of the trends that's happening on a monthly weekly basis so one thing that's enabled me to go from zero to over 1.3 million pounds in sales with my ebay stores is by making sure that i'm double checking what's happening with ebay the trends any news any updates so that i can make any changes to my business or pivot in any way that i need to like for example right now in china there's a lot of stuff that's happening a lot of things that you need to be aware of if you're importing stuff from china that's going to affect the way that you're going to be able to import stock from china so that's why it's very important to keep up with news not only that there's a lot of updates that's happening with ebay right now and again there's also a lot of trends in terms of buyer behavior in terms of the way that they're shopping on ebay so you need to make sure that you're keeping up with all of these different updates on a regular basis it doesn't need to be every single day i like to keep up with the news maybe once a week or maybe a couple times a month by doing this you're going to be able to put yourself in a good position because you're going to be able to make any necessary changes to your ebay business so with the stuff that's happening right now in china because i keep up to date with what's happening i was able to anticipate that getting stock out of china was going to be difficult around this time so what i did is that i imported a bunch of stock just to keep me going for the next few months and the reason why i did this is because of what was happening with russia and ukraine and things like that so you need to make sure that you're keeping up with what's happening so that you can make any changes to your business so that you're always going to position your business in the best way possible i actually made a video not too long ago where i broke down the biggest trends that i believe are happening on ebay right now that you need to know as a seller i'm going to leave that video right there make sure you watch that video straight after this one because it's helped out so many people and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to press the like button don't forget to subscribe as well hit the bell notification so that youtube can let you know when a new video has been released and comment down below as well if you've got any questions because i'm trying my best to respond back to as many people as possible and don't forget as well that if you want to watch my webinar where i go through my story in terms of what i needed to learn and what i needed to do when it came to building up my ebay business from day one i'm going to leave that down below it's going to be the first link all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there Peace.